Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So BoxingScene.com sat down in an interview with Peter Fury, world-class trainer Peter Fury, um, talking about his son having his title shot with Joseph Parker, okay? Let me just read a little bit of what Peter Fury had to say. I'm giving my opinion. Um, now, when, when, when asked about... Uh, Joseph Parker, what he brings to the ring, this is what he had to say. He says, uh, he's strong, isn't he? He's strong, he's athletic, he can go rounds, he's durable, he's got fast hands, he ticks a lot of the boxes for heavyweight, he's pretty mobile, so he's a good fighter. Can't really pick holes in him. Huey needs to be on his A game to lift that belt. The fight can swing either way. It's a serious fight for anybody. Okay. Then when they asked Huey Fury about, um, or not Huey, but when they asked Peter Fury about fighting Joseph Parker in his backyard, does he have any concerns that, you know, uh, Parker may get some home cooking? This is what he had to say. He says, when you're the champion and you're going into their backyard, it's a close fight. Then you can't expect your hand to be lifted. You've got to go there and and take it off the champion you need to be a convincing winner anyways that's what we're looking at anyway we're not looking at an absolute 100 percent clean verdict because we're fighting away it's in his hometown we've got to really look at it in a realistic light the champion if it's touch and go will deserve to keep hold of his belt that's just the way it is all right now this is according to peter fear i know some of you are gonna say no uh it shouldn't be like that i mean and this is what it, what I say, or this is what I mean when I uh, say that fighters and, and uh, trainers and their team should just be expecting that you got to go in there and get the shit done damn near by knockout or you got to be convincing, man, like a convincing. Like you really can't go in there expecting to win close decisions in somebody else's hometown, especially, and I'm not accusing Parker of this, uh, although some people thought the Taco fight was debatable in the Ruiz fight. Um, I've heard fans say that, but you can't expect to go into somebody's home country, whether it's Parker, whoever it is, a champion, a celebrated champion. Well, he's only this be his first title defense, but he is loved there. You know what I mean? And expect to win a close one. It's just you can't really expect that. So you have to go in there trying to dominate this dude. You know what I mean? Or lose trying or get knocked out trying to try to dominate uh, Joseph Parker. All right. Peter Fury also went. Now, this is him talking about. Um, Huey Fury and, and just saying how confident he is in him, uh, you know, being only 22 years old. He says, uh, I think it is coming at the right time, talking about the title shot. He has some good learning fights. Don't forget, he's been in there with some very good veterans as well as uh, Dominic Gwynn, Fred Cassie. These are all not world beaters, but very awkward and good world level men to spoil your plans. And I agree with that. I agree with that because although, you know, Gwen and Cassie aren't world beaters, like he said, if you have a young prospect coming up and you're trying to just uh, build him up, these are the type of guys that are good to have on your resume. Guys that aren't known for being stopped and knocked out, you know, 12 times, not those type of guys, but guys that have experience, been in there with uh, guys that have held titles or fighting title fights or other contenders. When you're fighting those type of guys, you're getting them on your resume um you can build your prospect like that all right he also goes on to say uh he's had good learning fights let's not forget andre redinko redinko's another guy um should ask lucas brown how tough redinko is um redinko as well then he says uh he's had good durable fights let's not forget george arias as well yeah george arias a tough durable uh, journeyman from brazil um he also says uh all all people that don't get stopped he's got a good grounding, good learning. He's definitely ready. The time is right. So he thinks the time is right for his for his uh, fighter. He thinks he's, although he's, he's young, you know, Parker's young too, but he's, a, you know, he got a few years on Huey. Um, he thinks the time is right, you know. So if his father trains him, man, he's around him every day, you know, as far as being in the gym training the guy, I would assume. I don't know how their training schedule goes, but you guys know what I mean. You know, he's been there. And he sees his progression. And I think if, if he didn't think his son was his son was ready, I don't think he'll put him in this uh I don't think he'll put him in this position. I don't mean he's gonna win because his father thinks he's ready. 
But I think, you know, if father knows best, man. He he knows if his son's ready or not. You know? So he knew that Tyson Tyson Fury was ready. You know, so I believe that uh, just from what he sees in the gym, what he's seen in those uh fights with those adorable guys, that he thinks that his son's ready, man. So I guess we'll see April first. I can't wait for this fight, man. I cannot wait. I, I cannot wait for this fight, man. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here I can read for you guys. That's pretty much about it, man. Just, you know, him being very confident. Um I wonder if they're gonna grant him his uh visa. I know the I did a video today where article came out and said there might maybe some discrepancies there with him getting a visa to go to New Zealand because of his um uh his, you know, criminal history i guess he got denied a visa when uh tyson fury traveled over here to fight stephen cunningham so hopefully his father gets his visa man because i would like to see his father in his corner on fight night he's going to need everything to be uh in place on fight night man i mean it's going to be him throwing the punches regardless but i think his father being there will, will help his chances in in this fight with uh joseph parker but you guys, let me know what you think in the comments section by the comments made by Peter Fury. What do you think about this fight in general? Who do you guys got winning? Um, I'll leave the article in the description box for you, man. But let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm out.